Right, okay, we're here to uh, show you how to check a filter and clean it out on our AF4C summer system. So, first thing we're going to do is turn the main supply off to the heat pump. <laughs> and when we do that, that stops all the circulation fluid flowing, and we can now go and uh, change the filter. So our filters are always housed in these polystyrene cases and are usually either beside or behind the, uh, the heat pump. So first of all, remove the case. And you notice at the front of this is a black knob here which sometimes is a, is a, is a ball valve, um, a bit like that, but larger. Um, all you need to do is use a pair of pliers or adjustable spanner to shut that off. So rotate it through 90 degrees. That stops the flow going up and down the pipe and allows us to access the filter at the back. There's a hexagonal nut, which is housing the filter inside here. So we need to remove that. So if you turn it anti-clockwise, as you, as you open it with your fingers, a small amount of food will come out. We're just going to let that drop, in the, drop into the gutter here. And inside here is a little cage filter. If you pull it out, take a note of which way around it is. And you can see this filter is full of debris from inside the pipework. On the bottom of the filter there's a little uh, dimple. That has to go back in the same way. If you're not sure, we can rotate it and we go back in. So once you've got this, we need to go and clean that under a tap, wash it out and then put it back in again. Nice clean filter now. So to reinsert the filter, we're going to push it back in and make sure this dimple's in the right place. Put it back in wrong. If I rotate this round gently, you suddenly feel it click into place. It won't rotate anymore. I'm going to put the cap back on again. And then we open the valve again at the bottom. That's it. Put the polystyrene box back on again. And it's good to go.